how to create a sprite. I guess you all know what a sprite is. It is a two-dimensional picture that is moving, that uh, has some animations. So if some people may lack uh, the ability of creating uh, three-dimensional models, they maybe can draw some characters and use them as a sprites. So today we will see how to create a sprite. First, we create a plane. I guess you all understand that we are in Art Tools in 3D Max and we're creating StarCraft 2 models. Okay, we're creating a plane. We can see that it consists of different polygons, many polygons. Oh, by the way, I need to change the layout. Because I don't need I don't need three views. I only need one. Okay, that's better. We don't need all those polygons. We need to remove them. Let's set it one and one segments. Okay, have the size one hundred by one hundred. Let's put it to the center. Okay, this is. What about the rotations? Rotations are zero. Okay, this is our plane where we will create our sprite. All right, let's create the material. As usual, we creating a StarCraft II standard material. And we have, for example, an animated sprite sheet sheet this one let's see this is the marauder from cardboard animations and uh, there are nine frames let's configure uh, the material to make these frames work as they're supposed to work within the sprite they must go from first frame to second to third and then just list all the frames available so what the fuck what the fuck is going on all right fuck you slow bullshit let's see we have this part flip book this here we can define how many rows and how many columns a texture has. We remember there were four columns and three rows. Alright, now let's animate it. There were nine frames, so we need to create an animation inside the animation floater of the art tools. Just click new. It will be attack animation and it will have nine frames 30 to 38 all right and now we need to turn on the auto k mode auto key mode here yeah, and uh, change this number current frame we need to change it to make this red stuff appear at the arrows so this first frame will correspond to the first current frame of the texture now we go to the last frame and change it to 9 so it is animated too and now as we can see current frame changes every animation frame will have its own current frame in the texture great let's apply the animation to the plane. All right, let's see how does it look now. Let's preview it in the cutscene of editor. Okay, great. Let's turn off the ground. We don't need it. Ground none. Okay, now we can see. Let's play the animation. It plays. What this all red is. This is team color because let me show you how the texture look in the alpha layer it has 
this white guy and black stuff around him. Black stuff in alpha layer means it's team color if you're using it as a diffuse map. So let's turn it off. We don't need it. Let's set RGBA to RGB. Now team color won't be used. But it's not what it's not all what we need to do. We need to cut off the whole thing, the whole thing around the guy. To cut it off, we need to define alpha layer as alpha mask. Let's change the mode of the texture to mask. It will open uh, this to these two layers of the material. And uh, let's just copy diffuse map to alpha mask layer. Copy. And here we will set alpha. And now there shouldn't be anything around the guy. Oh, right. We need to, to set something else. Besides uh, the defining alpha mask, we need to set the alpha test threshold that will define what parts of alpha layer must be cut off and what parts must be must be kept inside the texture so for example we set it 150 which means everything blacker and everything darker than 150 will be cut away and uh, our whiter stuff will stay so if we check it again, we will see that this guy is perfectly done. All right, we can. Uh, there is no background, but believe me, when there will be background, you will see that he his his body is cut off of the background of the texture. Okay, let's now make something more interesting. We know that sprites must always see to the camera. And uh, there are mechanisms that allow us to do this. Let's close this stuff. Okay. First, we need to do is to to rotate uh, this plane by 90 degrees around x-axis. What happened? Oh, yeah, happened. What we need to happen? It is now stays and faces the camera but it won't follow the camera oh by the way I think we need to raise it up a little so it stay on the surface yeah this way and now we need to create the behavior that will make it look at camera let's see uh, let's create a bone first only one bone we need we need to put it to a zero position with zero rotation and we need to link uh, this plane to the bone now they are connected now the bone will just define where the thing looks and for the bone we need to create the behavior it's really easy to do there is billboard behavior thing we press it now it exists we need to click look at camera and also we need to press this add bones from viewport to from viewport selection we have selected bone and we are adding it so now the bone will follow the behavior let's see does it work it should work already yes we are rotating the camera and we can see that the guy look at us now we can turn on the ground to see what's going on yes the guy looks okay but it is not perfect you can see that when the light light shines inside his face he changes his look when the light different there's his look is different too so we need to fix it also there's a shadow we don't need let's fix the light so this unlit checkbox guarantees that uh, the texture will not react to to the light and we also can turn the shadows off let's see again create no shadows no no reaction to light and it always looks to the camera and it, it can attack almost ready 
if you don't have any plans to, to add in a team color to your to your sprite you can be happy with what you what we got here already but there is a part that's supposed to be team colored but cardboard guy created his characters with only blue blue color on the area that's supposed to have team color so we can use this blue channel to tell the engine the graphical engine to show team color instead to do this we need to create a second second material there is composite material thing that allows us to keep old material as sub material great now this material we created is a part of the of the composite material let's name it here and let's make a copy of this material this second material is exact copy we will change it but it will be shown above uh, the first material so what we need is team color we don't need diffuse map anymore we clean it we can replace it with uh, just black color as a background let's name this second material okay how to achieve a team color team color can be achieved with an emissive map let's define it let's set a white color here and change emissive mode from add to team color add this will make the whole model shine as, as the team color let's see yeah a lot of team color but we need to to cut some parts of that blue plane that we seen on the previous version let's use the second alpha mask it's a great part of the material we can use two alpha masks and uh, we can use that blue material let's see blue channel we have the plate it can allow us to cut the team color area what should we do we simply change alpha layer to to the blue layer note we still have the first one first alpha mask with alpha and the second alpha layer with blue channel let's have a look how does it work now okay we can see this part is team colored great but the explosion the part of the explosion is also team colored because there was there was white color and white is active in all channels let's see blue channel has the explosion as the part of the channel and we need to get rid of this so we need to create one more material one more layer that will cover this explosion part with, with the normal material like the diffuse one okay let's copy the first material again and let's make it show only the, the explosion so we need to create the alpha mask again let's copy it but how to to find the channel which will cover the explosion and only the explosion it's an interesting question let's see green channel red channel red channel covers the huge area we can't use it but green channel covers the explosion it's not a high contrast part because there are green parts here 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 everywhere green everywhere but the brightest part is the explosion and we can use this fact how very easy let's set it to green 
and let's change these two numbers first we need to amplify uh, the color because you know different shades of colors can be amp amplified proportionally so the brighter if we change one to two the brighter part will be twice bigger than the not so bright part and now we need to maybe not to 1.6 like this 1.6 and then we need to just we need to to add a negative color like this minus 0.8 like this so it will it will move uh, the whole thing down so the darker parts will disappear because they will be equal to zero like this so our third material let's see third let's name it it has diffuse map that is still the rgb channels of the diffuse map also this channel has the first mask and the second mask that guarantees that the the whole thing only will appear on the explosion let's check it out the explosion good we now have the right the correct color white color and still we have steam color on his on his plate but actually there's a little blue part that might be not so perfect it's not visible from the game view you know well, uh, he's going in the game we don't see any blue part but if we look closer it's visible we can Im increase the team color part a little bit the same way we did it for the third layer let's see team color let's change those numbers like to minus 0.5 like this so it will be a little bit bigger I hope not that much bigger well okay I think it's fine if we make it too big it will be bigger here too on the explosion and we will see the parts of team color which we don't need to see okay now we have a perfectly team colored marauder as a sprite it has attack animation and uh, let's see what if we had a texture that inc that consists of the whole set of animations attack move stand all kinds of them we can you we can use them for example there are three more frames great we can create in the animation floater one more one more animation for example build and then we need to animate our this part flip book part the way so it show the further further frames for example the this nine number we change to something different animated with this button so after all we will have all animations spread between our animations of the starcraft 2 engine so sprite will work like the normal model with all kinds of animation if we have the texture so that's it i hope you understood anything and uh, see ya in the next tutorial